What's up YouTube? Welcome, Welcome back, back to today's, today's video. video. First off, I hope you're all having a great day today. These guys did my intro with me. So today, we are gonna be here at the Roseburg Indoor. We were here last weekend. Now we're at our final weekend before we head back to Red Bluff. As you guys can see, we have the KTM car right here. And then Cody's car is also behind us. We're at the very edge of pit lane. All the, all the, everyone is down there. So, yeah, today's gonna be a good day. We just fired up the car, here is that. Hopefully we can put together a solid night. We had a really fun night last night at the indoor go-kart place, road karting. Had so much fun with Jesse, Johnny, and all those guys. That's a great way to do racing. If you guys are not able to afford to get into it, just head to your local go-kart place and have some fun. right now the track is pretty tacky they did a few laps on it earlier and uh, just really hooked up right around the top and it didn't seem very rough this weekend so I'm gonna go out turn some laps we're gonna have the GoPro on for that and uh, yeah we'll just be ripping up top and I think it should be good mistake that I made to start off was I didn't clean out the motor so that kind of messed it up it sputtered for the first few laps and then after that I got going one thing I did have a problem with the car is it wouldn't turn very well so we're probably gonna loosen it up a little bit I pulled an 89 pill draw so I'm gonna start deep in the first heat race probably front row the second I'm gonna go take a quick look at the track I believe we have about a 40 minute break now and we're gonna be changing jets and everything to make sure this thing doesn't blow up so let's go check it out all right, so here is a quick look at the track. Just a quick update, you guys have seen this thing many times, but uh, top seems to be where it's at. I think it'll be there in the heat race. The bottom, I might have to get going in the first one just because I do start in the back. But uh, otherwise, it's not as rough. I think this week as the night goes on, it might get a little bit worse. But otherwise, yeah, typical Roseburg track, gonna be fun. Let's go take a quick look at the lineups. All right, so we got Mike Wheeler, it looks like, in our heat race, and then us, so we got a decent and then Scotty Fox, he also started on the front row last week. So decent heat race, if we can get into the top three, top two mostly. And then in the second heat race, Wheeler will start where I started in the first one, and we'll start full. And they're getting ready to do the national anthem. Heat races though will be up next with heat race number one.
going up on the stand. As you guys seen from the GoPro, dude, that thing did not just blow up, it grenaded. Like, it was not just our typical, ugh. It thing, rear tires locked up, I hit the wall. Let me give you a background if you don't recognize this motor. This thing, we've had, we've blown up three or four times at Red Bluff. So you're like, Tanner, why are you still running it? Because it is really fast. The thing is, is when you're at a place like Roseburg where you can just test, it's, you know, might as well try to get this thing running because if we could figure it out, it's a good motor. Mom, what did you see? I know you probably were nervous. Well, I just felt like you hit a rut. I didn't know that you blew up. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just, I was able to work my way up to third. I figured they might have docked me because I kind of jumped the start, but anyway, we got fifth in that heat race. I don't know if we'll make it for the second one. I'm getting ready to head out for the B main right now. Uh, there's only six cars in the B4 transfer. I guess that's a little side note. I'll just say if you're an outlaw car track and you're gonna hold, hold a B main, if you have three cars or less you're sending home, don't run a B main. Save yourself some time and let the competitors will come back. If you're gonna send two cars home, they're never gonna wanna come back. And I think there's only one that's getting sent home. Only there's, one now? Yeah, because one car has clutch issues and they already loaded up and left. So they're sending one car home. So they're gonna send one car home, guys. Anyway, we're gonna go on a B main. I start front row outside. Tanner's gonna go fast, the motor's gonna live. Okay, let's do this, boys. All right, so the B main got over. Mom, how did I do? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think this is the first thing I've won since, uh, I don't know when the last time I won was. But anyway, I won a B main, guys. Biggest win so far yet in the open. Pumped about that, totally seven cars. But uh, yeah, Carly's getting ready to go out for her A main. I got mine after that, I start 11th. So yeah, hopefully this car runs. It was okay. Didn't have the most horsepower, it felt pretty good. But yeah, we'll just kind of see, hopefully avoid a few wrecks and try to get top five or top three. All right, Carly, go get them. for the A main right now. Uh, I start 11th, so I start pretty deep. Yeah, Johnny? I gotta say, I got like 50 new followers on Instagram after your Instagram story. Yeah, Kevin said he did. The, he got the same thing. Dude, I got like 300 people. I freaking checked my phone one minute. I saw that you tagged me in it. Dude, it wasn't 20 minutes later. Following request, following. I'm like, what in the people? And then I went and watched your thing and I was like, oh great, thanks, Tanner. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so my A main is over. As you can tell from the GoPro, the clutch was going away. And like, me and my dad have had discussions about this. We've said, maybe Tanner, it's when you're going on the straightaway, you kind of have it in just a little bit, so you're using it, and I was like, okay. So I was trying to go super easy on it tonight. With the, that motor right there, I didn't even use the clutch ever, ever, blew up. I wasn't really surprised that that motor blew up because we've just had so many issues with it. It was I was just kind of waiting for it to happen. Uh, but anyway, the that motor, I don't know. I was trying to go easy on the clutch, and after about five laps, like I was right there with those guys, but I couldn't get them off the bottom because it, it, it the clutch was still engaged. Kind of, it was like wow. It took a while. It took all, half the straightaway to get the car, the tires to spin. So I couldn't pass anybody. I worked my way up from 11th to 6th, and then after that, I, the clutch started going away. I kind of just let everyone go by. I didn't want to crash anybody. Maybe I thought if I could use it, get it loose, and get it to work didn't happen so I just pulled off personally these last few weeks I haven't really said anything on the vlog but I'm just ready for sprint car season I don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to blow up that motor I don't and there's not even a clutch in it so there's no way I can use up the clutch in a sprint car I don't know I'm just excited to get back in it I, I'll make a whole video on it soon we have like we've scheduled all of our races I'm working on getting sponsorships so we can race even more uh, through Northern California and all of Oregon and Washington I'm so pumped for it but yeah I don't even really know what to say I'm just I'm over it I don't even know about outlaw car racing right now sorry to be negative but it's just we've just went through we like our, our high right now is a b main win here at roseburg so anyway we're gonna pack up and i guess i'll catch a quick word with you guys after we're done all right so the trailer is all loaded up yeah uh, i'm feeling a little bit better in the sense of you know i'm calmed down a little bit after the a main thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe and share and thank you guys for sticking with us through all this i don't know what even it is it's been a long period i think it's been let me think the end of thanksgiving around then to now already so about two months of just not even really able to finish a race i feel like you guys are probably starting to think we don't even maintenance our cars we do lots honestly we wash the cars we go through the motors we make sure everything's there like we don't just leave the cars in the trailer and unload this car at the next race we don't do that we really do try really hard. I just, I don't even know what's really going on. If I ever find out, I will let you guys know. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna be on our way home. They race wingless tomorrow. We're not gonna do that. We don't wanna tear up the car or anything. We don't even really have anything to run because we don't have a clutch in this motor. We'd have to put a new one in. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video, which is the iRacing meetup. So that should be a lot of fun. Hope I don't think I can blow up a car on iRacing. If I do, I'll have to hit the reset button. But I'll see you guys then. Deuces.